What kind of psychiatric testing or evaluations do you recommend a person to get before seeking an exorcist help? Excellent question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it, that question, I believe, is directed to me, I um, I think that uh, uh, history taken by uh, qualified psychiatrists uh, would be uh, the, the first thing to do uh, to make an appointment, and, uh, and there are different uh, uh, battery of tests, psychological, that also can be done. And uh, uh, then when you have all the history and everything, then you can uh, see where the problems are and uh, uh, recommend how they can be uh, approached. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, it's without any medications. I, I, pre I prefer usually without medications if I can, but uh, many times the medications are necessary, psychotropic medications, to work on depression, to work on thought disorders, and people think about things that are very frightening, so uh, that works. So, but then you work with it combined with psychotherapy, talking, and it may take a while because, uh, you know, the conclusions don't, uh, they are not forced. The conclusion comes to you in time. So, you be prepared for a few sessions with uh, a psychiatrist, a psychologist, and uh, get to the roots of uh, the bottom of it. And then if uh, you see that uh, it's something that you can treat, which is usually the case with uh, uh, psychotherapy and uh, combined with uh, you know psychotropic medication sometimes, that's fine, that's the way to go. That's what I would recommend, uh, but uh, there is clearly there are spirits and uh, many patients came to me and telling me about that there are bad spirits in the house or something and it's uh, it, what to do and i would refer them to a person like you, you exorcist to to, uh, to take care of that but uh, at first they come to me and uh, i examine them i refer them many times to for psychological testing yeah. Um, so then uh, we come to the bottom of it and then we know what to do much better.